Hello and welcome to a new video about the physical principles of electrical engineering. Today we are talking about move charges. The only thing we know is that we have charges and that in an electric, in an electric field there are forces applied to these charges. And now we will take a look what is happening if such charge is moved. Right? I have here already noted uh, the same thing like last time. All right? Same thing like last time. We have here uh, a charge, Q, yeah? and we have an electrical field. I always draw it between two loaded plates because then it's a homogeneous field. Yeah? If, the, if the field is just somehow, it's somehow, it's the same principle. But <laughs> We're not going to start with somehow. We're starting with a nice homogeneous field so that we can think everything is straight and so on, that it is easier for us to understand. Right? Okay, now let's have a look. Here we have a charge, here we have an electrical field, we have a force to the charge, and now let's pretend this charge is moving. The charge is moving moving from here to here. Here we have S, uh, length, yeah? and here we have the new position of the, of the charge, Q. It's the same force. Here's the same force applied because the electrical field is homogeneous. It's the same electrical field, the same charge, just at another position. Yeah? So the force stays constant. And now what we see, hello, hello, force multiplied by length is Work. Here, I got work. All right. So I have a work which is the force F multiplied by the way. Yeah. And in our case, the force was. Q multiplied by the electrical field multiplied by the way. This is the this is the the, the, the work difference. Yeah. Why is this a work difference? Yeah, simply because I have another potential. Here I have obviously a higher potential than here. Alright? So we have here. A potential of phi one, right? Phi potential, right? And I have here another. V2. And the difference between the two potentials is the work I received. All right? So I have here the work divided by Q equals The electrical field multiplied by the length. That's, that's the work I can receive out of this field. Yeah. Per, per coulomb, per unit, per, per, uh, charge unit, right? One coulomb, I receive this. If you move in two coulombs, I receive double as much as this. Yeah. So the, the potential difference, yeah, This is delta phi, all right? This is delta phi. The 
difference between two potentials and this delta phi what is in, in our case it's phi 2 minus phi 1 right and this is called voltage hmm? this difference between two potentials is called voltage and here we have the voltage u to 1 hmm? this is here This is called voltage. Yeah. Sign is a U yeah. and unit one one volt. Named after famous physician yeah. Alessandro Volta, Italian guy. That's one volt. And now it's the case that uh, we can go down and down and down and down and down. There is not a zero potential. There's nothing happening. Yeah? So I have somewhere here, for instance, I have here a potential phi zero and this is my reference. Somehow, I need to place a reference. Usually, we're using the Earth as reference. Since there is no fixed zero, we just put a, a stick into the ground and say, okay, here is zero volt. That's our zero potential, our reference potential. Ground. This is why it's also called ground. So, and we have here now the voltage you want. U1 zero. Here we have the voltage U2 zero. And U1 zero is, of course, phi1 minus phi zero. And U2 zero is phi2. Minus phi zero. And now let's see what is the difference if we say how much is u two zero minus u one zero. It's phi one minus phi zero. And now minus phi two. Minus, but it's plus because it's minus. <laughs> this was a sentence. It's plus because it's minus. Of course, it's this minus is minus phi two plus phi one, uh, phi zero. That's it. And now those two, zack zack, are gone. And we have written here. Uh, oh. I did it wrong. Phi 2, and here's phi 1, of course. Uh, phi 2, phi 1. Phi 2 minus phi 1. And let's look. This equals the voltage between 2 and 1. Exactly this voltage. So those differences, they are always the same. All right? They are always the same, those differences. So the voltage, the voltage is potential difference. Yeah, and what? And now remember where we came from. We came from the work. So what is a voltage? A voltage is a potential work possibility I have. If I have a, a, a potential difference of one hundred volts in between, I can gain one joule per coulomb. Yeah? It's also this unit is also one joule. By Coulomb. Two by Coulomb. Huh? 
So if I have 100 volts voltage available and I will move a charge of uh, of one coulomb, yeah, then I can gain uh, one joule, 100 joule of, of work. If I have here, for instance, a V3, yeah, another voltage, another potential, yeah, and I'm moving here up this, this load, yeah, to Q2 dash, yeah, and here we have S2, yeah, then I would need to enter this amount of work. If I'm going in direction of the field, I'm, I'm gaining. Here I have again a voltage difference. U3, uh, 2. Uh, if I'm moving from here to here, I have to apply work. I have to put work into. So if I want to go against the electrical field, against the voltage, I have to put work into. So that's voltage. Voltage is potential work per, per charge unit, per coulomb. Another thing is happening when uh, charges are moved. We have charges, we have voltage. One thing is missing, it's current. And current is moved, moved charges. What is necessary to move charges and what is going to happen then, we'll discuss in next video. So next video is about moving charges, move charges, flowing charges, current. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.